On today's episode of Designing Spaces, how one young couple successfully embraces the process of owning a home, and how propane can fuel your home's energy needs. Plus, how an active couple is acing a lesson in life insurance. Debris in your gutter? We've got ways to declutter it. I like to play tennis at least a couple times a week. That's so much fun. It's like one of my favorite things to do. I go to the gym every day. We try to eat healthy. It's not always easy because there's a lot of good restaurants around here. So <laughs> that makes it difficult at times. And when you come home from work, you don't always feel like cooking, but we try really hard. I'm learning that it's important that we take care of each other, not only in life, but even after. Yeah. Even when we take vacations, we really like to take active vacations. So we always like to be moving around and doing something because a lot of times our jobs can be sedentary. So it's really important to, you know, just keep on moving whenever we can. My mom was very young. She was 57 actually when she passed away. She died of cancer and um, she was diagnosed probably in her late 40s. Now that I'm getting closer to that age that my mother was, it's making me really think about, oh my goodness, what's, <laughs> what's, what's happening down the line for me? And then my father uh, passed from um, multiple sclerosis, which was really bizarre, and that really came out of nowhere. So that's always in the back of my mind as well, and um, how that really can change up the family dynamic when something like that happens to your family. You could try to eat right, you could try to stay really healthy, but there's so many other factors that come into play. It really is hard to be prepared for the so many different scenarios of life. I realize that we need to start thinking about life insurance and our future and start preparing. When it comes to life, you never know what it may serve up, so having a financial game plan is critical. Usually, you know, when you have a job and you're working for a company, they throw in life insurance as part of uh, your benefits, but um, we don't even know what that is. I don't think we even know what our benefits are f through, um, through work. Time to get your game face on, Diane and Jim, and learn why life insurance can provide peace of mind for you and your loved ones. No umpire needed, Jill Magruder from Western and Southern Financial Group is here to help. So the purpose of life insurance really is to eliminate the worries of your financial future. Tell me how you feel about life insurance. Well, to be honest with you, it makes me a little bit uncomfortable. Well, you may be relieved to know you are not alone. And where life insurance comes into play with that is, life insurance is a foundational element of any financial plan because it helps eliminate many of the worries that couples like you contemplate when you say, how should we plan for our financial future? Part of the benefits that I get, I know that I get life insurance, but I have no idea what life insurance I'm actually getting. The two basic kinds of life insurance are term insurance and permanent insurance, and I compare those to renting. Term insurance is like renting an apartment. Permanent insurance is like buying a house. In permanent insurance, you build cash value, you build a value in the policy, and in term insurance, you're just paying for a death benefit in the event uh, you die unexpectedly. Every time I've heard about life insurance, I always thought it was something that was very costly. Life insurance costs less than you might think. And I think you would be surprised at the affordability of life insurance, given your age, given your healthy lifestyle, and again, the type of, of coverage you might want at this point in your life. Now, where can we learn more about the two different policies? So there are many places you can go to learn about life insurance. This day and age, where's everybody start? They start online. But beyond that, if you need a more personal touch, uh, there are many registered and uh, licensed financial services representatives out there with reputable firms who can really explore more deeply your personal financial situation and your needs and help you put together that baseline plan. There is no better time than now to take care of this, because you never know what's going to happen. Life insurance made simple. With the right information, choices may be easier. You know, there's so many companies out there. How do we know which one's the right one to choose? Well, I'm a little biased. I would say my company, first and foremost, the Western Southern Financial Group. We've been in business 130 years, and over those 130 years, we've been able to provide for the financial future 
of millions of Americans. But there are ways when you, when the time is right for you to buy life insurance that you can really explore the financial strength of that company, its stability, how long it's been in business, and that's through uh, ratings. There are independent rating agencies and they assign the ratings to insurance companies. So you can glean really great information from that rating agency information to help you feel like you are choosing the right company. The end game for the company and our clients is to provide a secure financial future rooted in life insurance, but also addressing some of their other needs because we are here to help them ace the game, set, and match of life. Before meeting Jill, I really didn't have any idea of what we needed to do for life insurance. But um, you know, after meeting with her and realizing that uh, you know, she's a great resource and, and her company, yeah. I mean, we can find out a lot of information about, um, about life insurance and, and the way to go. So which one of you has the better serve? He does. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> he does. <laughs> so remember, don't wait. The time is now. Don't be intimidated, learn all you can. Pick a reputable company and enjoy life. Coming up, we're looking at ways to refuel your propane at home. What do a home-cooked meal, fresh laundry, and a weekend poolside barbecue all have in common? At this house, they're all made better with propane. We're gonna be grilling out on the grill. My buddy's bringing some pizza over, and we're gonna be hanging out in the pool, probably throw the torches on a little bit. It's a four bedroom house. It's an entertaining house. I have a billiard room, my office, home theater, my fabulous kitchen, and my most important room, which is my outdoor kitchen. I use propane for the entire house. To find out more, I'm heading over to Suburban Propane's local customer service center. Hey, are you looking at John's house? Yeah, yeah, we're actually just reviewing the drawing from when the installation was done. Today we're going to be showing Rhonda John's house. Uh, this one in particular was a really detailed installation. Uh, John's got a lot of appliances at the house all run on propane. Hello. Hey Rhonda, how are Hi. you? You're Hi. just in time. Nice Good to, to see, see you. you. So what are we doing? What are we working on? We'd like to take you in the yard and show you a little bit about all the different tank sizes and, and how we can apply those those different tanks to different situations. Oh, okay. Great, sounds Sound good. good. Yes. All right. Thank Great. you. So Rhonda, this is our yard. Okay. We actually house 90,000 gallons of propane here between these three tanks. Whoa, that's a lot of propane. So how many areas do you cover over the country? We actually have an extensive network. We're in 41 states across the United States. No kidding. Yes. So these are three of the newest members of our fleet here. Mm -hmm. This is one of our service trucks that we would typically use for an installation. Okay. And these two are what we would use for deliveries. You're actually going to get an opportunity to ride in one today. Oh, cool. So what kind of tank does John have? Actually, I've got a great example over here. We've got two different types of tanks here. One is for above ground and mm -hmm. one is for underground. The underground tank actually has a protective coating over it to mm -hmm. avoid uh, any type of corrosion from being under the ground and exposed to the soil. And then this is one of our above ground tanks. So if we don't have the ability to set a tank underground, we can actually set one like this. So why propane? Propane is a great way to supplement an energy source that's going to save you money in the long run. Mm -hmm. um, it also uh, gives you the freedom to make some different choices when you're selecting uh, the type of appliances you're going for in your home. You can actually run a line to your barbecue so you're not swapping out the small tanks all the time. I see. Um, at John's house, he's got the tank buried in a, a flower area, so you would never even oh. know it was there. <laughs> it looks yeah. like it's part of the garden. Yeah. And it's beautiful. So we're excited for you to check that out. So we're going to come over here. We know where our tank location is, okay. which is in the bushes behind the tree. So we have 150 feet of hose. Okay. So we're able to reach the backs of properties when we need to. And in this case, fortunately, we're right in the front. So you're just filling it up and then they're pretty much good to go? That's it. We're going to fill it up to 80%, okay. which is a full capacity. And then we're going to get in the truck, print a ticket, 
and we're on to our next stop. Thank you. I'm going to go meet the homeowners. I'll okay. let you have at it because I'm not sure about climbing in the bushes myself. But uh... I don't recommend it. <laughs> From the beginning, John wanted a company with a greater reputation for safety and service. And our service professionals, they are part of your local community. Yes. Hi, I'm Rhonda. Pleasure. Thanks for having me. Whoa, this is a gorgeous house, Thank John. Thank you. Wow, what a kitchen. Cool. You guys have it made. Look at this range. Isn't it great? This is awesome. <laughs> you must do a do. lot of cooking here, John. This is where we do our work. What are you making, though? Eggs? More than eggs? I make some <laughs> eggs. I'll do some asparagus in here. We'll do some pasta. You Very know, I good. keep it simple. My girlfriend does a lot more on the stove than I do. And you've got six burners, so yes, perfect party house. Yes, absolutely. All right. Would you like me to show you the fireplace? I would love to see cool. your fireplace. Let's go look. All right. I have a fire pit which is a fantastic feature in the living room. Um, it's a four-sided open fireplace, and it's great for having family and friends over during the holidays. We get a, a lot of use out of that fire pit, and it's powered by propane. Switch up a button and you've got fire. That's how it works. <laughs> I love that. That's why you use propane. You Second don't have to light a log. You don't have to do anything. Want to see my other favorite room, the laundry room? The la You do laundry? Sometimes. All right, I'm down. Let's see this. Let's go. <laughs> So the dryer is fueled by propane. It cuts down dry time of clothing by half. Much more efficient, much more economical than, uh, than electric. It's, it's really the best feature of the house. Well, I'm gonna show you the fireplace and the master. How many fireplaces do you have? I have three. <laughs> Absolutely. Let's go. Now this is nice. It offers a glimpse of romance, doesn't it? It's gas, it's easy, no cleaning whatsoever, and it comes on with a switch. No cleaning, I like that. Well, I don't want to keep you from your friends. Your friends are here to party, and I'm sure that they're missing you, so. Let's go. We'll take the elevator, we'll get out of here quicker. The elevator, of course. Thank you so much for having me here and giving me a grand tour of your well, house. Well, thank you for coming. I enjoyed, and I'm going to go hang out with my friends now. All then. right, take care. Nice thank to you. meet you. you Have too. fun. Thanks. Well, that was a guess. At Suburban Propane, our business is customer satisfaction. You get peace of mind with dependable fuel supply that's there when you need it. For more information on what you saw today, go to SuburbanPropane.com or DesigningSpaces.tv. Coming up, follow one young couple as they navigate through buying their first home. Your home reflects your style, your personality. So when these newlyweds became tired of their outdated kitchen, they started looking into refinancing their home. Hi, so great to meet you. Seth, Hi. nice to meet you. Today, they're meeting with Brad, a loan officer from Embrace Home Loans, to discuss their options. I met with Seth and Lindsay, a nice couple who have owned their home for a couple years. They wanted to talk about refinancing so they could get cash out to make those renovations. I remember you telling me you had put some money down originally, so it, I think we have some equity to work with. Yes. So you can get some money out to yeah. do that. Thank awesome. goodness. So let me tell you about the process. Great. Okay. At Embrace Home Loans, they can help you buy the home of your dreams or make your current home all that you want it to be. What type of upgrades are you looking to do uh, within, the, within the kitchen? Uh, we want maybe more contemporary, because right now it's a little bit 90s. Mm. Yeah, you know, definitely sort the cabinets, of. Um, countertops, yeah. okay. some appliances. So Yeah, that makes sense. How long have you been in the home? Two years. Two years, okay, Yeah. great. Since mortgages are all they do, you can rest assured that they'll do it fast and they'll do it right, because at Embrace, the customer is their priority. We've been around over 35 years in 46 states and DC. We know the ins and outs of mortgage lending and have found that our different approach, one that puts the customer first and absolutely every step of the process makes a difference. We believe in this goal so strongly that each employee is empowered to do what they need to do to ensure we meet this goal. This commitment is what attracts people to work at Embrace. So you get happy people who genuinely care and want to work with you. Brad showed Seth and Lindsay the simple online refinancing process and also cleared up a few misconceptions about home loans too. One misconception most people have is about down payments. Everyone thinks you need 20% down to find affordable financing options. Nope, not true. There are so many loan products out there for every different need, and we can find the one that works best for people just like Seth and Lindsay. Refinancing is just one of the many solutions Embrace Home Loans offers. 
Another challenge a first time, or for that matter, any time home buyer might face in today's market is a lack of inventory. Too many buyers, not enough houses. There are often multiple offers on a single property for sale. Competition's fierce. That's causing prices to go up. Buyers who are not pre-approved can find themselves unable to get an offer submitted quickly enough, and sadly, they lose out on the home of their dreams. Which is why Embrace came up with Approve to Move. Approve to Move is powerful. Each buyer is just as good as a cash buyer. And by changing the timing and tasks associated with the loan process, we can get buyers an actual loan approval before they even start to look for a home. Not a flimsy basic pre-approval, a full approval. The loan application is fully underwritten. We run their credit and complete the verification of their income and assets. We meet all program conditions up front. We even provide them with a loan estimate, which tells them exactly what they will pay. Many believe that a basic pre-approval will do the trick. When in fact, in most cases, a basic pre-approval is not that hard to come by at all. Every lender will tell you that they offer one. It's what's behind the pre-approval that matters to a realtor and a seller. And that is where we distinguish ourselves. This is how we put our customer first. We turned our mortgage process completely upside down and created our Approved to Move program. Want to see what Embrace Home Loans can do for you? We continue to challenge ourselves every day to innovate and achieve new levels of satisfaction that we can bring to the customer experience. In Seth and Lindsay's case, a cash out refinance will give them the added money and flexibility for their kitchen redesign. Buying or refinancing a home should be an incredibly fulfilling experience, not something you dread. Yes, sometimes it's challenging, but leave the challenges and the mortgage up to us. Enjoy your experience of making a house a home. Go to embracehomeloans.com forward slash designing dash spaces. Coming up, Rhonda will show you an easy way to keep your gutters clean. Rain, rain, go away. But what if it doesn't? You need to be prepared. And that's why we've got rain gutters. Without these simple devices, rainwater, especially during huge downpours, can damage your home's foundation. Your outdoor plants and even outdoor equipment, such as AC units or pool equipment. You need to have rain gutters. And if you've got plants or trees, well now we're talking about leaves, sticks and other debris that can clog those rain gutters. Rain gutters need to get cleaned, sometimes two to three times a year. So how do you clean yours safely and easily? If you're like most homeowners, you want to stay off of tall ladders and you especially want to stay off of high roofs. It can be dangerous up there. Thousands of people get hurt each year slipping off of ladders in high places. Injuries or even worse can happen and who needs that? So with us today is Jennifer Bazzi of Gutter Clutter Buster and she's going to talk to us about how to avoid those high dangerous places when those gutters need cleaning. Hi, Jennifer. All right, I have to admit, these gutters are pretty bad. So we've got a lot of cleaning to do today. Yes, we sure do. And a clogged gutter is an inefficient gutter, and that's not good. So what are the advantages of cleaning gutters this way? Well, the biggest advantage, besides it being so easy to use, is the safety factor. Homeowners no longer have to get on their ladders, or worse yet, get up on the roof to clean their gutters. You no longer have to leave the ground. Oh, good. <laughs> yes, over a half a million people are injured each year from ladder falls. Over 300 are fatal. Wow. So there's big advantages to using this type of product, especially for do-it-yourselfers who like to save money. Yeah, I would imagine it probably costs at least $100 or more to hire somebody to clean your gutters. Yes, hiring somebody can get very pricey and it can lead to costlier accidents. Gutter Clutter Buster is very easy to use. Simply attach the tool to a minimum of five horsepower wet dry vac, but it must have a two and a half inch diameter hose. Okay. And you are on your way to quickly and easily cleaning your gutters. And if you do have a second or third story home, we have extensions that will reach that too. Well, that's great. I love that this seems super simple. It's time saving, it's money saving, but it also is injury avoiding. So yes. that's very good. Thank you so much, Jennifer. Hope to see you again soon. You can give us some more gutter cleaning tips. I'll be here. Until then, stay dry, but also if you want to find out more about Gutter Clutter Buster, you can visit their website at gutterclutterbuster.com or also our website, designingspaces.tv. For more information on anything you've seen on today's show or to learn how you can be part of the show, go to our website, designingspaces.tv. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces.
a space you can call home, living the lifestyle you desire, it's what we're all about. We're Designing Spaces.